Regens in career mode go as far back as I can remember. However, with the introduction of new features like development plans in FIFA 21 career mode, I would argue that finding slash developing regens is one of, if not the most effective way to bring in unique high potential players into your squad. In this tutorial, I'll be covering everything you need to know about regens, including the definition of a regen and how you can identify one, common players that usually have a regen early in career mode, plus a filter you can use to discover retiring players, and finally, some additional tips and tricks that I personally use when searching for regens. If you end up finding this video helpful, leave a like on the video and subscribe so you don't miss out on more FIFA 21 content, including other tutorials, challenges, and traditional career mode saves. Let me know in the comments which player regen you'll be looking to sign first, but without further further ado, let's get into the tutorial. A regen is a player that's unique to your save generated by the game to replace a retiring player. Generally, the regen will be in the 16 to 21 age range when they are first imported, and the new player will have the same primary and secondary positions, nationality, and potential as the player that retired. However, the regen's name, height, weight, preferred foot, skill move slash weak foot set, and stats distribution will be randomly generated. This may mean that the regen has good potential, but by default, they are not usable in game because they are lacking in a particular category of stats. Luckily, with the addition of development plans this year, it's not too difficult to offset this imbalance. I'll be covering that in a little bit more detail later on after we outline some other important facts about regens. When you're ready to start searching for regens, the first thing you'll want to do is identify players that are retiring at the end of the season. For best results, especially early on in the save, you'll want to narrow down your search to older players that had a high overall at some point in your career mode. Although it will not be the same for every save, some high overall players that sometimes retire in season one include Buffon, Ibrahimovic, and Iniesta. You can either manually search for the player using their name or apply this filter and scroll through the list of players to identify who's retiring. I would recommend keeping a running list so that you can effectively keep track of which players are retiring as you may not be able to add them to your transfer shortlist, and even if you do, they will disappear from the shortlist once they've retired. Now that you've identified the type of regen you want to sign, I would recommend advancing to the final day of the season and creating a backup save. After you've done so, you can advance to the new season, head over to the transfer tab, and start inputting the categories that we know about the regen. If we use Ibrahimovic as an example, he'll be listed as a striker from Sweden, and have an age range between 16 and 21. Regens will be imported into the same league as a retired player, or they'll be in the free agent section. So start with the same league. If you don't have any luck, try searching the free agents. In this example, the Zlatan regen is pretty easy to find. This is usually the case if you have a fairly uncommon nationality for a particular league like Sweden in Syria. However, for extra assurance, I would recommend shortlisting the region and double checking to make sure any of these secondary positions match exactly that of the retired player. Since Latan doesn't have any secondary positions, neither will this region. If you don't remember what those secondary positions are, go ahead and save your game and use that backup save I recommended to double check on the positions. Sometimes you won't have as easy of a time finding region, so I wanted to cover some situations you might run into. If you don't have any luck finding the region in the retired players league, you'll want to visit the free agent section. Keep in mind that this player pool will usually be larger in this case, and the same applies if the retired player had a common nationality for that league, such as an English player in the Premier League. For this example, you'll want to shortlist each of the potential regions, and then afterwards, check the secondary positions and use the process of elimination to find your true regen. If you still have more than one eligible player, load up your backup save and search for each of the regens manually by name in the transfer tab if they were already in career mode, when the retired player was still playing, you can rule them out. Finally, you can look at the regen's overall and potential status to get an idea of which player might be the true regen. While this is the last and least sure method that I use, you can sometimes rule out a player if their overall or potential is too low. One final tip I have is for whatever reason you're not happy with the regen that you found, you can always reload your backup save and repeat the process again. Remember that stats and things like the skill move and weak foot are essentially randomized, so you can repeat this process until you get the kind of player that you want. However, with development plans and the ability to improve most of these categories, this step may not be necessary and is not something I personally do for my career mode saves. Feel free to leave a comment if you have any questions, like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you're new, but until next time, this has been Flick, I'll be talking to you all again soon.